since this is the Sunday evening after the NASCAR Hall of Fame induction, I thought I'd do another vlog about somebody I believe belongs in the Hall of Fame. And again, it goes back to my basic problem with the Hall of Fame. They're not putting enough people in. Unfortunately, this one passed away about 40 years ago in 1973. And disclaimer, yes, I was a Dale Earnhardt fan. I'm a Dale Jr. fan. And, but who I want to see in the Hall of Fame is Ralph Earnhardt. And you, you say, well, he never really run the big time. He run a few races and had some decent runs and was reported, at least if you can believe Wikipedia, of relief driving for Cotton Owens in the Daytona 500 and bringing the car home in the top 10. And he did run a few what we now know as Sprint Cup races, Grand National back in. Tragically passed away from a heart attack in 1973 at the age of 45. But there's a couple other reasons I think Ralph Earnhardt belongs in the Hall of Fame. Ralph Earnhardt was one of the first after working in the cotton mills in his younger days in 1953. He started racing in 49. In 1953 proved that you could do short track racing full time. As, not as a hobby like many people still do today, work the regular jobs during the day, come home, work on the car at night, probably till midnight or after some nights, get up and go to work. I've had friends do it. and But Ralph Earnhardt decided, hey, he's not going to do it for a hobby. He's going to do it for a living. He did win the 1956 NASCAR Sportsman Championship, which was basically a forerunner to what we know today as the Nationwide Series. That plus the fact, and I just read this on Wikipedia that they linked to an article that he was, if not the first, certainly one of the first to use tire stagger. He was notorious for keeping his cars in top running condition. Mainly a dirt track driver. Ned Jarrett ta has talked about it in the past because Ned Jarrett and his wife Martha and Ralph Earnhardt's widow who as far as I know is still living Dale Jr.'s grandmother named Martha they used to travel up and down the roads together and there were Ned Jarrett tells a story or he did when he did broadcast that Ned and Ralph got into it one night on the racetrack and the women wanted to talk on the way home and the men didn't but such is racing it it was probably forgotten but I just think Ralph Earnhardt belongs in the Hall of Fame again I have a problem they're not inducting enough people into the Hall of Fame there's others that belong in I, I think you need at least a hundred you look at the ones they inducted this past year, Buck Baker, tragically, he passed away some years ago in his 80s, Herb Thomas, but I think any multi-time of what we now know a Sprint Cup champion that's eligible should be in the Hall of Fame. But that's just been my take. I know people are going to say, you're just saying it because you were a big E and a and now a junior fan, but no, there's other reasons, and I think I've tried to explain them to you.